Excuse me? Chris, I presume? Uh, yeah. Sure. It's Evelyn? We spoke on the phone. Oh, right, sorry. I didn't recognize your voice. Oh, that's fine. I'm happy you could make it. Your father. It seems he... Well, he didn't have a lot of friends. In the end. He never did. Right. Anyway, the whore asked me to give you this. It was all they had in regards to his personal effects. A book? Huh. I'm sure there's a lot you have to process today. I apologize for being so forward. No, it's, it's fine. Honestly, um, we really weren't that close. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, Chris. I hope you have a safe journey home. To whom it may concern. Packed into the pages of this book, you will find my life's work. A means with no end. A fruitless garden. Thirty years of questions with no answers. Much like my own hollow ambitions, some things never come to fruition. I only hope that these tattered pages may serve to prove that we are more than ourselves, and that our perception of reality is merely a veil over our own ideals and hunger to understand this world. I have many regrets. The Institute is not one of them. Christ alive! You almost gave me a heart attack. Let me guess. 
got lost in the storm. You know, conversation is normally a two-way thing. Sorry to barge in. Uh, you're still open, right? Uh, kitchen's closed, but we have all the coffee you could want. You don't sound like you're from around here. No. I mean, I used to be. Long time ago. Where are you headed, anyway? I'm, uh, headed east. Oswestry. Oh, so do you want the good news or the bad news first? Ah, uh, well, obviously I'm going to take the good news first. <laughs> well, you're on the right road. We'll be headed that way myself soon. Bad news is it's about half an hour back that way. Hang about and I'll show you the way, if I can bum a lift. Sure. Uh, to be honest, I could do with the company. Wasn't looking forward to cycling in this rain anyway. Nothing creepy, though. I'll kick your ass if you try anything. <laughs> hey, I'm just relieved to be off that road. Where are we, anyway? Welcome to the Last Stop Cafe. Best coffee this side of the A5. Don't get a lot of customers these days, though. Oh yeah, help yourself to coffee. I'll be done in five. So I never caught your name. Oh, it's Chris. Chris. Right. Nice and simple. Yeah. It was my dad's name. My grandfather, too. My parents weren't exactly ones to break tradition. Well, it's nice to meet you, Chris. I'm Anera. I used to know someone called Anera. It means winter, right? Close. Winter is Giaf. Anera translates to snow. Ah, oh, my Welsh is a little rusty. Hey, I'm impressed. Most English folk can't even read the road signs. Well, neither can I, apparently. So what brings you to this neck of the woods? I, um, uh, well, I buried my dad today. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's fine. We didn't, uh, exactly see eye to eye. Yeah, my dad left when I was six. Turned up ten years later wanting to play Happy Family. I still get calls from him, not that I ever answer family, eh? Oh, could you deal with that? Just mess with the dial until it finds a signal again. Family, eh? I'll be finished up soon. Then we can hit the road. Again, that's the second time this week. Hold on, I've got a lighter here somewhere. See, this is why I love smokers. You wouldn't mind taking a look, would you? Fuse boxes in the back. Uh, 
okay, I guess. Last time I was waiting four hours for an electrician. So, what am I looking for here? There's a fuse box in the kitchen. Kitchen? Right. Hey, Neira, a bunch of these fuses are fried. Should be some spares in there somewhere. There's no use for a screwdriver here. And the fuse is dead. Hey, uh, no need to thank me or anything. Anera? Some sort of tape player. What's it doing here? No power. Looks like the battery's depleted. A camera?
Oh, what would... <laughs>